Oh, I forgot. I am sending raw here. Where is this? On the index page. I'm sending raw, which is actually an object. Hmm. Let's go here. So I'm going to say data image like that. So this is an object. So I can return to my eco sign, which is more elegant. Refresh. I should get some. Oh, great. Look at that. Awesomeness. Okay. So there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. So the images are of different sizes, of course, but we're going to fix that. Do not be fiery. Now we can uh, change a few things here, like the title. And so in the same way, uh, here I can put views. So I will do uh, something like equals data views. Let's come back here and see what happens. Okay, zero views, zero views, great. And then there's a date here, 18th October 2020. So we can put our actual date here, which is, uh, I'll copy this, put it right here. So Oct 2020, okay. So we need to learn these uh, date formats here. I don't think I'm actually date date. So I think what I'll do is I'll say date, something like this, to create a date here. So date, I need to create the format. That's first of all, then a comma here. So the comma, uh, the format here is, it was what? Let me see, uh, 18, 18 October, 2020. So we are starting with the day. So day, uh, actually, it's J S Y the month M and then Y like that. I think this is it. Is it capital J? No. It's J, I think it's capital S, like so. Hmm. Let me try that. Refresh. A non well formatted numeric value. Oh, this means uh, we have to convert this to time. So I'm going to say string to time, like so. We convert string to time, this date. Then it will be readable. 28th, 12, 2020. So I don't want it to write 12, I want it to write uh, the December or something. DC. So maybe let's try capital M here, something like so. Ah, great, 28th, this 2020. Great, everything is working fine. Now, if you wanted to add some time to this, you could by simply just saying the hour. Uh, you don't need to put these full colons here, it's just hour minute seconds like that and then if you put a it will show you whether it's a.m or p.m so let's refresh here so there we go 1946 36 p.m so that sometimes that could be helpful but you could put some characters in between here uh, as long as the other letters are recognizable okay yeah something like this Okay, great. So the next thing we're going to do is to make sure that uh, these images are square. And so we can have something better. Or maybe not square, but uh, at least they can fit properly here. So what we can do is we're going to, instead of creating the class from scratch, I already have the class. So you have it in your package in the link in the description. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll go to our uploads folder here, the public folder. And outside here, I have the image class. Now, you will have this file in your package, so don't worry about getting it from here. So you put this file in your models right here. In, uh, yeah, in the model. So image.class.php. So, so this is an image class right there. So, 
what I will do here, I need it to create, let me open the same file for a second. So it's got a class code image in there. Okay. So in here, it's got a, a, a function that resizes your image. Now you don't need to worry about this. The only function we need to use is down here, uh, get thumbnail. That's what I named it, get thumbnail. And so we can get a thumbnail, which is square image. But in our case, our thumbnail is not really a square image. So in my case, I had put for 300, 300, which makes it uh, square. But I think, if I'm not mistaken, let me go to the assets folder so that I can see exactly what the ratio of images is here. So it's 640 by 300. Great. So I can put exactly the same figure. 640. Okay. So you will have this class already edited like that. Goody. So all we need is to say get thumbnail and put the file name there. That is awesome. Okay, so we can do this by loading the uh, oh, what is this? Let me come to my models here, home model. So here where we are loading into this, so we can go through all the images. We can go through all the images and do uh, something with our model. So let's load the model here. So load class, let's mod load it uh, right here. Now this one will say image class. So image class is equal to load this and this one is image.class.php. So there we go. Image dot class like that that's the one all right so once we load the image class here we can loop through the results here and get all the uh, the images from there and put a thumbnail version of them so what it would do is when you say get thumbnail so let's go back to here public uploads what it will do is it's going to create a thumbnail of each of these a square image uh, a smaller version thumbnail here and then it's going to return the link to that thumbnail instead of the actual image okay so right here what we'll do is let's loop through all the results from here so I'm going to say for each mm -hmm data images so as row so in each row I want to do something using the image class so here I'm going to say image class uh, get thumbnail get underscore thumbnail and then we'll put the file name in there Okay, so the file name will be row, row image, like so. But then I want it returned to this same uh, location. So I'm going to do this. But now I've just remembered that I need the key here. As key, like that. So I need the key. So I'll get this, I'll say images and the key at that point, like so. Uh -huh. So let me run this again. Let's see if we get some errors. Oh, there we go. Class images dot class not found. Oh, this is the thing right here. Okay, so this is my bad. I should have known better. So let's come back here to, let me go here. So the image class, we're supposed to name it exactly uh, the same thing we have it here. So 
let me rename this and just put an underscore here like so rename so image class like that great that should work now call to member function get thumbnail or no so it's saying we are calling it on a no uh, value which means the raw image is is a no value so why is it a no value so before we do this just to see what's going on i want to echo this raw image so all these images are here and this is good so i think all i need to do is put an if statement so i can just say if if that exists or if that is good then perform this action here so that in case it's no or the image is empty oh still having the same problem oh the no part is this one so i'm supposed to put an underscore there sorry about that refresh undefined variable refresh that's image class online 301 where is that so let's go to my image class online 301 I'm down here 301 okay so that's completely unnecessary Code to and I undefined function resize image crop. Okay, so here I'm supposed to say this to every time I refer to Okay, so if this is missing here as usual coding in a hurry. Let's put it right there. Hmm. So let's see what other shenanigans we will be up to. Trying to get view property from date of none object. Okay. Let me go to the folder and see. Okay, so thumbnails have been created. This is great. So which means it's actually uh, working that's good so what this is doing is something else so let me close the image uh, function here let me come back to home uh, okay so I don't need this if statement anymore since the error isn't going to be a problem the no was on this one okay so maybe I'm making a mistake oh that's what I'm doing so raw image here so let me copy that I'm supposed to put something like this here I don't know if this is even valid so data images key image is equal to hmm let's see that in action oh great looky there it actually worked oh nice so we are we are putting the image uh, we are replacing the link of the actual image with a thumbnail version here so this is good so let's try and uh, upload something now so let me click upload browse and then let's find another image here yeah 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 let's try this one i'll just say girls upload and there we go the girls are here very nice let's upload one more just because uh, it's fun girlfriend upload and there we go so boom 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 now we need to change uh, this what's written here and put the title 
of uh, the image so i'll go to single image here and that uh that text is clock so clocks is right here so instead i'm just going to do this uh, like data image here i'm going to put data title I do not need those tags like so girls girlfriend hello hey my other image man great so everything is working perfectly here okay now what we're going to do is create a search bar here so that we can actually search for a specific item here okay great so all we need to do is type something girl search and then it's only supposed to show the ones that we selected 